What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Tewa. The Tewa is wheel. No, it's our wine making tycoon game and it's pretty uh pretty nifty. It's pretty nice. Uh yesterday after um halfway through my farming simulator video, I uh had a Windows update and it messed up all my settings, so I recorded an episode and there's no desktop audio, so you don't hear any game audio. Lucky me. And lucky you. All you hear all you got to hear was my dulcet tones. But I decided that we're going to roll through anyway. Now, I had to start a new map because what happened, there was a bug where I was selling some wine to the vendors and I was filling them up, but they weren't selling them. Like, they didn't sell any of them. They didn't throw any of it away after a certain time. Like, hey, like bring my relations down, but don't don't keep my stuff in there. Get rid of it. And it wasn't, uh, wasn't selling at all and I couldn't make any money and the game was over. So I started over again. And now we are making Chardonnay. As you can see on the right-hand side, there are two different ripeness bars, Chardonnay and Cabernet Sauvignon. Ha, ha, ha. We've unlocked uh, three different uh, taste testers, and we've expanded just a little bit. Not a lot, baby girl, just a little bit. Now, there has been an update to the game. They've fixed a whole bunch of different bugs that were happening in the game, so I haven't really experienced uh, anything too crazy. But they've brought down Renown for your chateau. It used to be 100 Renown. Now it just takes 50 Renown and 100 grand. So that's good. That's good, good. Good. Lifetime revenue, we've earned $89,000 and we only have 25k. Now, I have noticed, as you can see, we have some fine, fine wines. Good years. Quality. I can't believe it's not butter. I like how they add different kinds of things to, like, say you make a really good wine. that had a good ripeness to it. It gives you perks and different little rating systems to get you up where you need to be. So say it like this. Though a combination of excellent weather and canopy management, this year's grapes were exceptional. The wine gets a plus one to its final rating. If its final rating is over three and a half stars. Like, okay, hey man, I had a bad year. Can you hook a man up? Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't taste like dirt. Earthy flavors grants plus 10% to your wine's price. Oh, 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 really, does it? Now, this one is 2019. We are in 2021. So this is a two-year-old wine, which doesn't mean that's bad, but doesn't mean it's very good. So let's go ahead and we'll try to sell some of this. Waiting to sell 200 bottles. We're already waiting to sell 200 bottles of our old stuff. So, we've got nine bottles at Manhattan. It's good to look. I've noticed to keep a low amount on one and then keep a high amount on the highest, uh, highest end. But not a ridiculously high amount. Just keep some for yourself for later so you have something to sell just in case you have a bad year. That's what I've noticed. But what do I know? So, let's go ahead. And we'll continue. We are in December. We got to make a Cabernet Sauvignon and a Chardonnay. Oh, 32,000. That's right, babe. We're making money. Mm. All right, so let's bring this down here real quick. And let's go back in and see if we can sell some uh, fine wines. <laughs> got four and a half stars there. Oh, one bottle. One bottle. Just take it home with you, man. Just take it home with you. I didn't see nothing. Well, I mean, put the money in the register, but like, I didn't see nothing. We're going on the honor system here. All right, so let's get rid of this. Not get rid of it, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, bro. All right, so let's give a hundred to this Manhattan sellers to bring up our relations because if we get over to around a five-star relation, we get a little perk, a little bonus, and I like that. It's good to have. It's kind of like a bonus. Fifty, fifty. We'll sell those and we'll make some more money. Boom, boom. Oh no. So give a little clip, clip, clip job. A little clip, clip, clip a -roo. Sorry, I had a little coughing spat there. Out of nowhere, I, 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 was, I was sipping on some coffee and uh, went down the wrong pipe. Happens. So, we're going to do a little bit of extra clipping here. We're gonna keep these grapes over here just nice and pretty. So I, I like to do like maybe around July. If the ripeness doesn't go up to where we need to go, I can clip it down to where it needs to be and get some good canopy management. It's cap a canopy management simulator. All right, July. Okay. Now we clip. 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 Seven. Three. Come on, man. Can I grow you a little bit? Can we can we grow with you? I want to I want to grow with you. Come 
Come on, brother. So seven and three. It'd be a lot nicer if I had. It'd be a lot nicer if I had four. <laughs> there we go. Bring it down here a little bit. There we go. I like that. Can we get a four? Can I just get a four? We've got a six. Can we match it up? Five? No. <laughs> it's not liking it. So we'll go for it. We'll go for it. It's close enough, but it's not. It's not great. See, we got sweetness and tannins and body. We got to add all that in. So we have two different things that we can get. And the Cabernet Sauvignon is looking like that. It's a fine, fine wine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So we have to watch because we have two different things that we have to take care of here on a separate level. But unfortunately, what we only have for the crushing method is one method at the current time. Currently. We currently have something. So... Yeah, it's all about trying to clip, and when we get more wine vineyards, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to try and manage some of them. I'm not sure how we'll do this. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know. So every month of fermentation that decreases sweetness by one. Jeez. Uh, so we'll bring this down to a nice level five. Oh no! <laughs> See, this is the problem, is that it goes for both. I have to switch through both. And I didn't do that, but that's okay, because our uh, our Chardonnay is not sweet at all. As a matter of fact, it's probably gonna be super gross. We may have to toss it. We may have to chuck it. But that's okay, because the next round, the next season. Oh, look at that. Okay, so you know, I'll tell you what. Our Chardonnay will bring it up to a twenty percent, which will bring it up to a seven. Hmm. And our Cabernet will bring this up to an 8. It's kind of like the sweet spot. Begin. <laughs> Begin pressing. It's a very pressing engagement. So next we'll have our bottles or barrels. Barrel, choose a barrel type. We only have one. So it's going to acidity, decrease by acidity 1 and tannins by 2. Eey. Well, it's the, only, it's the only choice we got. It's ready, set, done. Now, we'll give it another month here, around January time. There we go. And we'll see what those are at. Acidity 7. Cabernet's looking all right. I can't believe it's not butter. Buttery flavor. Oh, 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 really? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's just see how gross it is. Uh, we'll keep the screw cap on there because we're screwy. Put a bottle in there. Bottle that. You, though, you're going to get a cold screw. Cold. There was a bug where there was a... You would change the cork price, and the price of this would not go up. This would not go up. So, let's have a taste testing. Let's see what they think of this. <laughs> let's keep, let's keep the uh, lower upper the lower muckety mucks. We'll invite them to the taste testing, and they give it two stars. So you know what? We are going to discard that because it's awful. But this one should do a little well. So. Let's go ahead, we'll get the ladies involved, and we'll get El Scorchito because he's a ladies man. And he can maybe uh, persuade them, or bring me down. Four and a half stars! Okay, we're pretty good with Cabernet Sauvignon, man. I'll tell you what, man, we are... When it comes to Cabernets, we're the king around here. We're, like the, king, we're the Cabernet King of Chicago. Uh, let's see here, so... We'll give him two hundo. We'll give him two hundo of you, too. And I'm gonna give you two hundo right here. Uh, you know what? Let's give you a hundred. You're not making us a whole lot of cash right now. We gotta build our relationship back up. So, ready, set, done. Make me some money. Beautiful. Now, next season, let's focus on a little bit of Cabernet, man. Not Cabernet. Uh, Chardonnay. Cabernet, Chardonnay. Char Chardonnay? What's a Chardonnay, Diesel? Um, it's, we just made it up. And now we have a new wine. Just imagine the bottles. Now, um, oh, ripeness already went up. That's not good. Up to three. Okay. Okay. Five. Great. Good. I can't clip these. Are you serious right now? You're just dragging me down, man. You're just, you're just bringing me down. Seven. There we go. All right. For a second there, it wasn't allowing me to see 
me uh, be able to sell any of these. So we have 80 bottles of this, 225. Let's get rid of the old year. Let's get rid of the old year. It's a good year that year. But an old one indeed. 50. Sell you. Done. All right. So let's make a little bit of extra cash going on here. We'll bring down the ripeness of the different grapes to a certain point. Got to keep them, keep our eyes on it though. Six, 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 six. Keep an eye on it, man. I got my, I got my eye on you. Yes, I do. Okay, that should be nice. We're nice. We're in the nice sweet spot now. I think we're in the. We're gonna push it to the limit. I'm gonna take it to the limit, bro. I can't really do much to it now. Like that's a that's a quality grape. Six. Okay. Come on, September. Come on, September. Boom. Beautiful. Got him at seven. It was almost a six, that's good. Seven, a little high. I'm a little high, um, but at the same time, nice. We got a good uh, yield out of it too. Fantastic, so let's go ahead and we'll make sure that everything is the way that it should be, okay? <clears throat> Gotta make a good Chardonnay. Our Chardonnay is fantastic. Our first Chardonnay was banging, the one that I recorded with no sound. <laughs> that one. It was on point. All right, so let's go ahead. All right, bring down the sweetness. Yeah, man, let's bring down the sweetness there a little bit too, like a nice, good, a good six. Cause it's a little bit sweet there. Chardonnay, same thing. Bring down the sweetness a little bit. I'll tell you what, we'll make it three months for you. Boom. I'm gonna speed up this joint. We're not growing anything. We're just waiting for it to ferment. We're aging a wine. I want to thank everyone uh, for the love and support on the first episode. If you enjoy these videos, make sure you hit that like button. <laughs> um, and tell me how much uh, you're enjoying it in the comments down below. December, come on, man. Gonna be start growing soon. Gonna be start. Gonna be start. Gonna be start growing. <laughs> right. All right, come on. Give me something good now. <laughs> give me something good. All right. So acidity, we gotta bring it. For every ten percent, your acidity increases by one. Dang. Uh, well, you know what? We got a one percent. We'll bring it up to an eight. So Chardonnay, same thing. We'll bring it up to an eight. Actually, we'll leave it at seven. Begin. And barrel type decreases acidity by one. <clears throat> and the tannins by two, so we'll have a nice seven acidity with seven tannins, six sweetness, eight body. Chardonnay, same thing, except we have, it'll be a little less sweet. This will be down to a six and seven. So good, 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 good. More for us. So, acidity still at eight, acidity still at seven. All right, <clears throat> give it a little bit of time here. Give it to February months. Losing money. There we go. Beautiful, man. Seven, six. Let's see how they like our Chardonnay. Because they hated the last one. I'll tell you what, we'll cork it. We'll make it look fancy. Uh, taking a risk. Taking a chance. You, sir, you're fine. You're a fine wine. We'll bottle you. We're spending some cash. Spend some cash, man. All right, Chardonnay, come on, man. Organize the tasting. I'm gonna bring the higher up muckety mucks to this t uh, wine tasting because you know what? We got two of those, and El Scorchito, he, he burned me last time. I think that's what it's in his name, The Burner, or The Scorcher. Invite, five stars. Beautiful. Sell you? <laughs> yeah, of course I'd like to sell you. I'll sell you for days. Now we're getting the top dollar for this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them, I'm gonna give them 300. This is gonna sell. It's a five-star wine. It's delicious. It's delicious. We'll sell you. Now this guy is not happy with this, but that's that's okay. 
because we have another tasting. Oh, hold on a second. What is this? Oh, so it's got a nice earthy flavor to it. Oh, yeah. I like that. Let's hire out. Let's get all the... Oh, three stars. Arina Hizia. Maybe she likes earthy tones. And maybe... Caleb Elehi might want to roll around on the ground with her. You know what I mean, bro? You know what I'm saying? That's about Dustin. Oh, they hated that. Well, that's disheartening. One star. I guess everyone has different tastes. Mm, yeah. It was just a bad year. Bad year for Cabernet Sauvignon from the Diesel 2023. Never forget. We'll discard it. It's just too much. It's too much. So, let's go ahead and we'll sell. We have all these different wines here. We got 80 over here. We got 240. This one's a five star. Let's sell another one for you so that that way you don't feel like you're left out, buddy. I don't want to make you feel like you're left out. All right. So, we gained in Chardonnay and we lost in Cabernet Sauvignon. But we're still making money. Making them gains. Making that sweet, sweet money, honey. So very cool. So I'm gonna try and uh, you know do some things off camera and get more money rolling in. I'll say now now we're now we're losing stuff. So um not quite sure. Because I haven't really looked into trying to, to move anything. Oh, 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 look at you. Everything's healed. The tile adjustment to the forest. Is, oh, it enjoys a 10% increase from monthly yield. Oh, that's good. Good. So maybe we should worry about getting uh, different fields that are next to the uh, forest. Nice. And we're making, more, we're making our money back. Delicious. Let's see how the sales are doing over here. Now, this is a bug that I'm noticing a lot more. Is that... I go to bring up the sales and then the title screen comes up. Which is fine because this is the end of the episode. But still, come on, dog. We gotta save those settings. I'm gonna save you. I'm gonna save you right there. But that's fine. So, folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. It helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, life, shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Tawar, a winemaking tycoon game, next time.